From the makers of Generic Shooter comes Generic Airdrop, a quick and easy blueprint for your airdropping needs. What does this do exactly? Let's go ahead and find out. This is a multiplayer replicated airdropper mechanic, which means if you're on a server and you're a client and you want to summon an airdrop because you can, uh, simply switch to your airdropper, find a suitable place to drop your package, don't drop it underneath something, has to be an open cover, and has to be of, you know, a valid, valid surface, can't be something too bumpy, and left click. Airdrop inbound. And soon enough, you'll have your very own airdropped package. Beautiful. And let's go pick it up. Drop package retrieved. There you go. Real simple. Works on uh, multiplayer as demonstrated. Also works in standalone. Both very fine. Very fun. Airdrop inbound. Very fine and very fun. As you can see, anytime you drop a package, a helicopter is spawned off screen. There we go. And there you go. Now, this comes with an easy to configure system. How it works is when implemented, you need to have an airdrop manager in your level. And this airdrop manager configures things like drop height how far the helicopter should spawn from this drop manager, how bumpy is an acceptable surface, and whether or not you want to do that bumpy check or whether you want to do that sky check. So let's say you want a drop height of 500 because you're crazy. So what we can do is reduce that to 500, airdrop inbound. summon an airdrop, and sure enough, our helicopter is much, much, much lower. A little too low in this case. But that's all there is really to it to, just to adjust this. Now, there's a few components at work here. The demo is basically a first-person template that's been modified a little bit to allow some of this functionality to happen. If you look at the first-person template character that I've provided, you'll see that there's a few events that we've set up to facilitate this functionality. And you'll see that there is a dropper attached to the first person arms as well as the shooter. So this first person template modified example allows you to switch between the regular first person behavior using the ball shooter, which we all know, and then switching between the airdropper. So this should get you started in implementing into your own project. And generic airdrop is also very, very easily integrated into generic shooter. And that will be covered in a different tutorial linked in the description and on as an annotation on this video right now. And so go ahead and click over to that if you want to see how it implements into generic shooter. But really straightforward implementation. And really it all comes down to this airdrop manager which has a few functions in it. And also an airdrop weapon, which this lets you hold it in your hand and show you the marker wherever you look and determine whether or not that spot is valid. Pretty simple stuff. Um, and yeah, easily configurable. Now, this isn't an animation or an art package, so the, uh, the helicopter, I'll admit, is a little lacking in terms of visual quality, but you can replace this with your own helicopter, you can have it do your own animations, whatever you need to do, you can do it. And the airdrop weapon is also just a box on a stick, and it's not animated. But if you have your own radio unit or however you would like to style this, you can easily put in your own mesh and do what you need to do there. Thanks for watching. This is the generic airdrop demo. Hope you enjoy it.